In this lesson, we're going to work with and calculate the output of algebraic functions. We can use the function machine to find the inputs and the outputs. When x goes into our function machine, we multiply x by 4, and then we add 1, and the function of x will come out. So, when x is 2, we multiply by 4, we have 8 coming out, and we add 1, and 9 is the output. When negative 0.5 goes in, we multiply it by 4, we get negative 2, we add 1, and negative 1 is the output. Now, when the function of x is 12, we need to work out what x was, so we take away 1, which is the opposite of add 1, and we divide by 4. So 12 take away 1 is 11. 11 divided by 4 is 11 over 4. So the notation is f of 11 over 4. When f of x is negative 6, we take away 1, we get negative 7. We divide it by 4. So it is the function of negative 7 over 4. When f of x plus 1 goes into our machine, we are multiplying it by 4. So we have 4 lots of x plus 1. And we are adding 1 to that. So we can multiply out these brackets. We get 4x plus 4. And we are adding 1 to it. So... The output is 4x plus 5. And when f of x equals 8x plus 1, what went into our machine? Well, we're taking away the 1, so we're left with 8x, and then we're dividing that by 4, so it would be the function of 2x. Moving on to the next function, we have x going into our machine we are going to multiply it by 2 and then we're going to add 8 to the result and then finally we are going to square root it and out comes the function of x so when 14 goes into our machine we have times it by 2 28 Add 8, which is 36, and the square root of 36 is plus or minus 6. When, G, when 10 goes into our machine, we have 2 times 10 is 20, add 8, 28, and the square root of 28, and we can simplify that third to make 2 root 7 as the output. When g of x is 5, we can work it backwards by squaring the 5 to get 25, and then we take away the 8 to get 17, and then we divide it by 2 to get 8.5 would have gone in. So g of 8.5. Next we have 3 root 2 coming out so we square this and we get 18 and then 18 take away 8 which is 10 divided by 2 which is 5 so this would be g of 5 and finally we have g of x minus 1 going in so we're going to double that which gives us 2x minus 2 and we're going to add 8 to the result so we have the square root of 2x plus 6. So the output g of x is the square root of 2x plus 6. Thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. And check out the link in the description for the full lesson.